Welcome to Sooner Access and the Bob Stoops app. Please forgive me, Jenny. My voice, I lost it for whatever reason. You were yelling at Maine. No, no, yeah, I was yelling <laughs> at Maine. But look, look what I got on, Jenny. No. Jenny Bronchek, our great mm -hmm. women's basketball coach. Watch more I women's know, I basketball. Love it. I love it. We were just talking about Isaac was just wearing it. I got to do their In the Family podcast the other day, but I think you wear it better. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to tell them that. But uh, let's go back to your, uh, we're Hawkeyes. Yeah. I found this at my mother's house. Now, yeah. you weren't born then, but that was when I played. But uh, let's talk about your time yeah. at Iowa with Lisa Bluter. Yeah. And then, you know, she's Coach Caitlin Clark. Mm -hmm. So let's start with your, you're a, a first team all Big Ten forward, right? You know, it was a long time ago, so you don't, you try to, you try to remember it a little better than it was, right? So, uh, no, it was, it was, I think, um, you know, I was one of those, you know, I was born in Des Moines, always a Hawkeye fan, got the opportunity to go play, you know, and then all of a sudden when you get to play for your dream school, there's really nothing better yeah. and, and you are better. And so I think I was a lot better than I probably should have been or, you know, was supposed well, to be. Average 16 fun. points a game, seven rebounds, yeah. first team all big 10. That's pretty good. You know, I, it was, it was, but I think the thing that's even more important is just, I loved it and it just becomes part of your DNA, you know, the game of basketball and I love what it can bring and I love what I got to learn. And I thought Lisa Booter was an excellent teacher. She was a great mentor. Obviously, she was there for a long time. Yeah. And so when you, you know, when you have longevity, just like yourself, there's there's legacy in that, and there's reasons that people want to come and play for you. I, I, Iowa City is a, a fabulous place, and it, it obviously it was the be, one of the best parts of my life was mm -hmm. being there for ten years, uh, mm -hmm. five as a player, and like you said, it's one of my favorite times of my life, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, do you still carry some of Lisa's, Coach Bluter's uh, philosophies? Yeah, no question. I think the thing that, um, you know, especially, you know, early on, you think, you know, you start to look at the program and you start to look at how you learned and why you coach. And I think there was a lot of what um, she did that I loved. As I've gotten older, you get a little bit more wisdom. You really start to see how much you actually carry with you, you know, in terms of giving the players the keys, letting them make decisions, you know, coaching with humility, coaching with a lot of grace. I mean, that's what I take a lot of pride on is, you know, it's the Iowa way, it's the Oklahoma way. Like you just roll up your sleeves, your blue collar, you work, you get better. You're not afraid to, you know, you're not afraid really of anything because you can fall down and you can get back up again. And so I think those are the things that she really taught me that are instilled. You know, I was lucky to have good parents. I was lucky to be there too, but, um, when you get to have a great college experience and you're still hungry for a little bit more, that's what that's what drives me every day. I'm uh, I'm wearing this shirt, and per person that's gotten everybody watching more not yeah. everybody more people watching yeah. women's college basketball or and pro ball mm -hmm. is Caitlin Clark. Mm -hmm. I know, I'm assuming you have a relationship with her, yeah. and uh, talk talk about what she's blowing up women's basketball. Right. No, I'm so pl I'm so yeah. proud of Caitlin. I think she's just been amazing. I mean, I remember watching her in junior high, and our families, you know, we, we kind of go back. We have a lot of crossover going to the same. We went to the same high school in Des Moines, and right. obviously her going to Iowa. But Give your high school a shout out. Yeah, Dowling High School. Dowling there you go. I know school. we were talking about Bobby Hansen off off air too. So Dowling it was Catholic, uh, Dowling right? Catholic. Dowling yep. Catholic. Yeah. So. No, and it was it's it's fun to be able to watch somebody again that's that's blue collar that works really hard. She's you know obviously she gets on the floor and she's got flash and she's got this incredible um, you know this just incredible game and marketability that has made people really start to watch and really fall in love with the game. And I'm really really proud of that. I think she's elevated a lot of the people around her. Um, but again, like it's it's just that simple way of being as good as you can possibly be. She's not afraid to fall down. She's not afraid to get up. And I think it's just been incredible. But I also know that the game of women's basketball is so hot right now because of that. And right. I mean, even Skip Johnson, I've talked about this a million times. I mean, when he's told me that he's sitting on a deer stand talking about women's basketball, <laughs> you know it's growing, right? And so, I know, exactly. So no, it's it's pretty phenomenal where our sport is, especially in a, na in a national perspective right now, and probably international. I mean, I'm with you, I, I yeah. love watching it. Uh, watching her has really made me watch more mm -hmm. and uh, good for her. I mean, I just, being a Hawkeye, I've of course followed her and sure. now the whole world's following her. So it's great. It's great. You started off 1-0 against Southern. 
a team that beat you a year ago. Mm -hmm. But uh, you are, uh, let's talk about this team, back-to-back -back Big 12 regular season champs. That hasn't happened here in maybe 15, 18 years. So really great job, Big 12 Coach of the Year last year. So let's talk about transitioning to this year. Mm -hmm. Beat Southern and, and talk about your team and what it looks like compared to a year ago. Well, I think, you know, this team, we returned so much and then add a lot. So I think that's been really phenomenal to be able to see uh, the growth of this team because a lot of times young people aren't getting maybe the props they deserve in terms of being able to look in the mirror and grow. And that's what we had to do. We had a lot of humility a season ago. And so we had to grow a lot. And so I think that there's, that's a huge part of what's propelled us into this season. Um, and then we've been able to add, you know, obviously with great experience, but I think Sahara Williams stepping up from a freshman year to a sophomore year, you can already she's see. She's a freshman of the year last she, year. Well, she was, yeah, on our team for sure. Yeah. And she's, you know, she's obviously incredible. You have Skylar Van, who is one of the most um, uh, unbelievable stories in college sports. And I don't think we ever really understand that. I mean, she had zero division one offers in the early signing period. And then she went from that to player of the year in the Big 12 Conference. Right. I mean, that's incredible. So you talk about player development, you talk about growth. You also talk about somebody who loves Oklahoma, right? She's given everything that she has right. to this program. And so then all of a sudden you get to be a little bit better than maybe you were quote unquote supposed to be. So we have her sister here. They're playing together for the first awesome. time ever because of this extra COVID year. Um, we're still managing a really deep roster, and we're going to have to work through all sorts of combinations. Um, we've added Reagan Beers, who she was... She was your leading scorer, 21 points last Monday. Yeah, exactly. And she's, you know, she's coming off of an Elite Eight um, experience when she was at Oregon State, was in the transfer portal. She came here. Uh, she's been a phenomenal fit for us. And, you know, you have Liz Scott back. So you have all these players that are returning. You have... Um, this great on-court chemistry. Peyton Verholst, I think, has been a great leader for us. Uh, so it's just going to be really fun to watch us. We're going to have a lot of different combinations, but the depth that we have is absolutely incredible. Peyton had 18 or 19 points in your first game, right? In our exhibition, yeah. Right. No, Peyton, yeah. No, Peyton's a great, she's a great yeah. basketball player. Well, you're, you're a fun team to watch. You got a huge yeah. game Friday against Virginia, mm -hmm. uh, 8 o'clock, right here at the Lloyd Noble. Yep. Talk about what people can expect seeing in this. And I encourage you, come to the yeah. game. It's fun. Yeah. It'll be fun to watch. Well, you don't just get to have ACC opponents yeah. anymore come on your home floor. I think that's huge. This is our first game um, on the SEC network. So this is the first experience that the SEC gets to see what Oklahoma feels about women's basketball. And this conference is absolutely incredible in terms right. of women's basketball. I mean, you're talking multinational champions. You're talking about competing at the highest level with the most elite environments. So I would love to be able to fill our stands on Friday because I think for people to be able to come and see that, you know what, Oklahoma is serious about the growth of this game. You know, it's not just about the elevation nationally from a Caitlin Carpenter's Clark perspective, but it's she's bringing eyes on everybody, and so that's going to help us. But we do need to to fill well, those stands on Friday. And you have a fun, exciting team to come watch. Right. So it's um, you know get out, come on, fill the stadium, and we'll have some fun. Lastly, talk about your family because mm -hmm. I love watching your child, your oh, daughter. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you go crazy, but you could see the fire, the competitiveness, yeah. and I got a feeling. I always say this, apple trees grow I apples. I know, isn't that true, <laughs> so. isn't that true? It, you know, it's always nice to say about other people. <laughs> it's yeah. not always nice to see when you have to look I in the I talk about mirror, your family, though. You've yeah. got such a great yeah. young family. No, and I, and I, have a great, I have a great husband who has just been, you know, absolutely incredible. And then we have three kids. Um, we have a junior high boy, so we're going through that stage, which you know is so fun and awkward <laughs> all at the same time. But no, he's so passionate, just yells at the refs way too much. Um, and then our middle daughter is the one you're referencing and Jordy and Jordan, she's yeah. she overcoaches me and yells and <laughs> uh, tells me that we got to be a lot better and making sure that we're boxing out and that we're ready. Uh, so she gives everybody the scanning report and then That's our youngest good. actually is, you know, Hope and she's in first grade and she used to kind of only be here for the concession stand and now <laughs> she's kind of got too many opinions about what we should and shouldn't be doing too. So who knows? That's fun. That's yeah. fun. Um, well, listen, you're kind to do this. Everybody no, get are. out, support the basketball team. 
not just the women's basketball, but mm -hmm. uh, but Porter and Mose are also in the men's team. So uh, thank you, Jenny. You are the best. I appreciate it. Thank You're you. kind. Appreciate thank you. you. Boomer. Boomer. Sooner. Yeah.